All right, this is the first of three videos for right triangle trig, right triangle trigonometry, sorry, I abbreviate it as trig. Uh, we are going to kind of simultaneously go through the last three sections of chapter seven, seven, five, six, and seven are all about right triangle trig, trigonometry, but I, um, I kind of teach it as a whole unit instead of just focusing on sine uh, and then cosine and then tangent um, as the, the textbook kind of does a little bit. And uh, we are going to break it into three little sections. I have uh, kind of a six step procedure and for this video and this ed puzzle we're going to kind of work with the first two steps and then the next video will kind of take a look at the next two steps and then uh, lastly in the last video we'll solve triangles and, and pick up your calculator so you won't necessarily need your calculator for all the trig functions till the third video and I will actually spend a decent chunk of that third video really talking about entering things into your calculator uh, we're gonna spend the first two videos pretty much getting it all down on paper and then last video is calculator time. All right, so we are just going to scratch the surface about trigonometry. Trigonometry is such a uh, rich subject that you can, there's literal whole courses about trigonometry. Uh, so we're going to scratch the surface with right triangle trigonometry. Later on, in your high school math career, you're going to see you can use trigonometry for uh, acute and obtuse triangles as well, uh, but we're just going to hang out with right triangle trig for uh, freshman year. All right, so for right triangle trigonometry, we're basically just going to deal with uh, three of the six trigonometry functions. You'll learn about the other three later, and for each one, uh, sine, cosine, and tangent, we're going to abbreviate, and the abbreviation for sine is S-I-N, not pronounced sin, it is pronounced sine, it's this button on your calculator, uh, the abbreviation for cosine, C-O-S, right next to it, cosine, and the abbreviation for tangent is T-A-N, the button right next to it. Um, and for right triangle trigonometry, each one of these trigonometry functions is going to uh, be a function for an acute angle. Uh, I called the two acute angles uh, theta and beta. We really only use one, uh, but just to differentiate between one acute angle and the other acute angle. Uh, so the trig function of some acute angle is always going to equal a ratio of side lengths, uh, side lengths relative to the acute angle you're going to use. And this is one of the big focuses of the uh, first little chunk of the lesson here. Let me zoom in on this little picture. Now, all of the ratios are going to involve words like opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is the easiest one to spot. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, and it doesn't matter which acute angle you are using. However, opposite and adjacent, those are very dependent on which angle you're using, which acute angle you're using. So I'm going to think about theta here, which uh, I'm going to put in red and the side opposite theta is the side that's across the triangle from theta and then adjacent to theta is the side that makes up the angle theta along with the hypotenuse so adjacent means right next to opposite means across the triangle from and then obviously the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse regardless of whichever acute angle you're using. 
So now uh, I'll put in green here beta, the side opposite beta is across from beta, and then adjacent is the other leg that makes up the angle beta along with the hypotenuse. Now this is uh, super important to realize. The side that is opposite angle theta is the side that is adjacent to angle beta. And we're going to abbreviate the three sides using the first three letters of the words opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So the definition of the three right triangle trigonometry uh, functions, their ratios of side lengths, the sine of angle theta is the side opposite theta divided by the hypotenuse side. The cosine of acute angle theta is the side adjacent to theta divided by the hypotenuse side and the tangent of angle theta, the acute angle theta, is the side opposite to angle theta divided by the side adjacent to angle theta. So, what we're going to do in this first video is we're just going to use these definitions. Now, I will provide them for you on any test or quiz. You may have to memorize them for some later math teacher, but I will provide uh, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine theta, adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent theta, opposite over adjacent on every test or quiz. So the first two steps of the six step procedure is going to be this. We're going to assign the sides relative to the acute angle that we're using. Uh, or the sides that we're solving for, and we'll talk more about that in the next video. Uh, we're going to assign them as adjacent, opposite, or hypotenuse relative to the acute angle we are using or solving for in that moment. And then the next thing that we're going to do is based on the two sides that we know or the one side we know and the one side we're trying to solve for is to figure out which one of these trigonometry definitions we're going to use and then pick out the appropriate definition. We're going to do a little bit of step three in today's lesson too. Uh, only we're not going to really deal with the algebraic manipulation so we're definitely not dealing with step four but we are going to do a little bit of step three. Uh, substitute the values from the problem into the definition that we pick. So I'll just briefly go over the last steps, but then again, we're really just focusing on one, two, and a little bit of three uh, today. Actually, we are going to use three, but we're not algebraically manipulating after we substitute in. We're not going to enter into our calculator and uh, it's not till the third lesson when we actually pick up our calculator and then we can check final answers at the end. So just to remind you very quickly and then get to some examples, we're going to assign the sides relative to the acute angle we're using as opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. We're going to decide which trig function we're using and then a little bit we're going to substitute in the values from the problem. So, as I mentioned before, uh, I will provide you these definitions. So let me throw them at the top of this right now. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So, sorry, I was off camera there for a second. So, uh, the all the practice problems for this little section, we're going to list the ratios of the, the three right triangle trigonometry definitions for both acute angles. 
So step one is the sine sides relative to the angles. So we got to pick an angle that will either be given or that we're trying to solve for. And we're just going to fill in the three sides as opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Now it's always easiest to start with the hypotenuse, in my opinion, because the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse, regardless of whichever side we're using. Now the side that's across the triangle from the angle, that's going to be opposite. So side BC is opposite angle A. And then the adjacent side is the side that forms that acute angle with the hypotenuse. So this is the side that's opposite A. This is the side that's adjacent to A. Now the theta is the acute angle. So when I'm filling in the trig ratios for A, I'm going to set up sine A cosine A tangent of A. And now I'll just fill in the sides based on the definition. The sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so the side opposite A is BC, and the hypotenuse is side AB. The Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine of A is the side adjacent to A, AC, over the hypotenuse, again, AB. And the tangent of angle A is the side opposite A over the side adjacent to A, so opposite A is BC, and adjacent to A is AC. But it does say for both acute angles, and I'm going to color code this a little bit. So now when we're at angle B, okay, the hypotenuse is still the hypotenuse, so no worries there. But now that we're orienting ourselves at angle B, this side is opposite B, and this side becomes the side adjacent to B. So when we do our three trig functions for acute angle B, they're going to be a little different than for acute angle A. And I'll encourage you as you're going through the practice to look for patterns, kind of similar things start happening. So Sine opposite over hypotenuse, opposite angle B is AC, and the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse, always AB. Well, for this problem, for the next problem, it's a different hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine of B is adjacent to B, BC, over the hypotenuse, again, AB. And then tangent is the ratio of opposite to adjacent. So tangent of angle B uh, is the side opposite B, AC, over the side adjacent to angle B, which is BC. So Label the sides as opposite adjacent hypotenuse uh, relative to some acute angle you're going to use, and then uh, just substitute those sides into these trig definitions, and that's it for today. A little more practice. Uh, let's blast through the rest of these real quick. Um, let me actually skip to the ones with numbers, so just glance at my time. I try to keep this under 20 minutes if possible. I know the last video ran a little over. So uh, let's start with angle G. Okay, here's the hypotenuse. The side opposite 
g is 4 and gi is adjacent. Now, I gave you numbers, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem and actually figure out what gi is. Uh, so if we factor a 4 out, it's going to be at least a 4 times something. 1 root 5, root 5 squared is 5, minus 1 squared 4 times square root of 4 is 2. So I know that ag is actually 8 meters. So we'll just use 8. Uh, the meters factor out of the side length ratios every time, so... Um, you don't have to really concern yourself with the units because 8 meters over 4 meters, for example, the meters factor out. All right, so we are going to look at the sine of g, the cosine of g, and the tangent of g. So the sine of g is opposite of g over hypotenuse, so that's 4 over 4 root 5. Now this can be simplified. We can factor the fours out and then we can rationalize the denominator. Cosine of G is the side adjacent to G over the hypotenuse. This can also be simplified. And then the tangent of G is going to be the side opposite G divided by the side adjacent to G. And that can also be simplified. When we look at the other acute angle, H, this time, 8 is going to be opposite H. And 4 is going to be adjacent to H. The hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse, so... That is definitely the easiest side to always identify, the hypotenuse. So we get sine of h, cosine of h, and tangent of acute angle h. So the sine of h is opposite h, 8, divided by the hypotenuse, 4 root. 5, and this simplifies. The cosine of h is adjacent to h, which is 4, divided by the hypotenuse, and that simplifies. And the tangent of h is the side opposite h over the adjacent to h. And that simplifies. All right, taking a look at this video, I think that's going to be it. When I upload these notes, I will answer these other three problems as well. But you guys try a couple on your Edpuzzle questions, and we will practice more in class.